This is We On. Here's a look at the top stories we're tracking at this hour. It's a big day for Britain as millions of voters head to the polls to decide whether the UK will remain in the European Union or not. Representatives of the Leave and Remain campaign have been making last-ditch efforts to sway the public. Opinion polls indicate the result could go either way. India and Pakistan are set to finally become full members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. SCO members are meeting in Tashkent for a two-day summit starting today. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in attendance and is also likely to hold talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping on India's bid to gain entry into the elite nuclear suppliers group. The UN Security Council called for an emergency meeting following the North Korean missile tests. The US wants urgent and united condemnation by council members. Yesterday, North Korea had test-fired two mid-range ballistic missiles in violation of the Security Council's resolutions. Sony has urged to settle a long-running lawsuit over the removal of the Linux operating system in its PlayStation 3 consoles. The company will pay as much as 55 US dollars each to 10 million PS3 owners using Linux on their consoles. And in another blow to Russian sports, the country's weightlifters are likely to be banned from participating in the Rio Games. This comes amid fresh doping allegations. The International Olympic Committee, however, has yet to confirm the ban. And in football, Ireland shocked Italy 1-0 to go through to the knockout stages of the European Championships last night. Robbie Brady's strike in the 85th minute took the Irish side home. The defeat made little difference to the Italians, however, who've already advanced by topping Group C. Well, that's a wrap. Stay with us for news and updates from across the world on weonews.com.